the WWF uh, work in Kuala in collaboration with community groups, uh, in partnership with the government partners and with private sector to actually promote sustainable forest management practices, WWF UK, through the Size of Wales project. So the people of Wales, uh, they contribute, they support us, and we work to, to ensure that these ecosystems are conserved. Our mission statement was to maybe uplift the livelihoods for the members themselves in the group, community as a whole, through a maybe job creation, and that one has come. We have the biggest uh, tree nursery in the region. The purpose of the nursery actually is one, to research on the indigenous species. Two, is to support restoration work in the degraded areas and also to, as a learning point for communities, if we are going to achieve conservation, if we are going to achieve our agenda, we must also integrate conservation with livelihood activities. So I'm very proud to say my members now have come to a self-employment that has been uh, succeeded also to the entire community now. Shiba Hills is one of the biggest brook we have in, uh, in, the, in Kuala. It's about uh, 24,000 uh, hectares and it's protected by both Kenya Forest Service and the uh, Kenya Wildlife Service. In the last five years, we have ensured that all the forests in Kuala are secure. There's no encroachment. We have significantly reduced illegal logging. Since we started, we have seen more of participatory involvement, consultation, e governance improvement in general in conservation of, of quarry forest. One of the key challenges we are facing now is there's increased demand for wood fuel by industries, uh, tourism industries, uh, factories, uh, schools, and that is also putting a lot of pressure to quarry forest. We are grateful to the people of Wales, we are grateful to the WWF UK and all the supporters because without them, it's, it will be very hard, it will be very difficult to do some of the things we are doing. And for that we say thank you very much.